so hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i am going to show you how you can create an interactive class something like this it looks very amazing and can enhance the environment in your game so let's get started so first of all you can see here i have my game scene here and character so this is the grass chunks so let me show you how a single grass chunk is look like so you can see the grass is uh, an area to denote and with a sprite which is this and a collision shape and there is uh, a signal and script okay so i will teach you how you can create it step by step so first of all you need to create a new scene so in this new scene you need to add an area to denote and you can just make it grass and let's say grass uh, tutorial so it will not be confused with the um, already made grass and now you just need to add a sprite to the node and you just need to add something called as collision shape and now you just need to add a grass.png sprite on your inspector and once you have done that you can see uh, my sprite center is uh, at different position so I want to remap it through this uh, I, uh, pivot okay after changing the pivot you can see the grass looks like this now what property we are using in order to uh, make it interactive first which is a uh, skew property so if you if I make it like 15 you can see it's kind of like swing so we just we are just using this screen property you can also use animation player for it but i don't recommend it because it's a very small thing so we can just use twins for it okay and then we can just add any uh, uh, collision shape you like so it's very simple you can just it depends on your grass on what kind of grass you are adding so it will depends on your grass shape and size and now once you have done that you just need to add a script and so let's create a new script and in this script first what we we'll need is variable called as append speed so append speed so we can just set this to 0 0.3 and then variable back speed and we can just set this to 15 oh sorry 4.0 and there is one more parameter I will uh, make and I will show you how you can do that. So first of all, you need to go on your node tab and click on your uh, area 2D node and click on body enter signal. And once you have done that, you just need to connect the signal here. After connecting the signal, you just need to add if and player. So make sure this, make sure this should be the player name. Okay. So for example, my player name is player. Okay. So this should be exact so then player and body dot name and we can just uh, write some code here so this code is already written here let me show you so if the player of cat in the body dot name we are getting the direction from this grass to the player okay so player and grass we are getting the direction if player is walking forward so for example if my player is walking forward so we are getting the direction of the grass and we will make it skew towards the opposite direction of the player so if the player is walking forward the grass will skew backwards so that's what this code is doing so you can see it here so we are first getting the direction from the grass to the player and after that we are just making it negative to the player direction okay so negative to the player direction after that we just added a very simple tween and you can just copy this code i will also provide the link in the description of this code so you can just copy it and this is the basically simple tween animation technique so you just create a new tween and we are just tweaking the screen property of this sprite 2d node so sprite 2d then skew property and we are uh, making the skew to this direction and skew value which is 15 so the value that i have showed you so that is and the bend speed which is basically how much uh, bend 
speed you want if you want faster you can increase this if you want uh, very uh, slow so you can just use that as well so after that you can just set these animation properties and that's it so this is the basic tween animation that i have made for bending and this is the tween animation for uh, moving back to its position so for what will happen if i just comment out and run the game so you can see it so let's play and you can see if i comment out the back animation which is basically going to back back its original screen property it's not getting a return to its original screen property right so we need to enable that as well so you need to create another twin for it and which is create twin so we will just create another twin which is called as twin 2 and we will just do the same thing the only thing is change is cubic to elastic and uh, we will instead of bend speed we will use the back speed and we will set the skew to zero because that's what we want we want the skew to uh, reset right so that's how we can uh, make the animation uh, possible so thanks for uh, watching this video i hope you like it so if you are if you are interested in more of these tutorials let me know in the comments thanks for watching